Thanks Morgan and Morgan for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Not many of my experiments will get a reaction like that. You see, I have done several different experiments with brisket. Most of them turn out delicious. Some of them turn out weird. However, this one might just top them all. And the best part, it's super easy to make. And here's how. I started with an inexpensive brisket. As a matter of fact, it is one of the cheapest brisket you can find. Now, the first thing I like to do is to go ahead and get it trimmed. You see, a lot of times when you buy brisket, they use hot water to seal it. That's why the edges usually looks like this. So that has to go. And as you can see right here, we have the point and this has a lot of fat. So we might as well cut it out. However, I highly recommend not throwing any of this away. It is amazing for burgers. Now, the next few steps is to go ahead and give a brisket a good shape. I've learned that from my brother Brad from Chud's Barbecue. And at the same time, too much fat is not good. I like to leave about a quarter inch of fat. Once I was done with all of the trimming and making it look as nice as possible, this is what it looks like. Now notice that the point still has a good amount of fat in there. Quite a bit of that will render through the cooking process. However, the lean just a quarter inch was good enough. For the seasoning, I kept it real simple. I first started with a good amount of salt. And since this is going to be a bitty brisket, I'm going to go ahead and season it with my rub as well. This rub is good in everything. But once the brisket was fully seasoned, the next thing to do is to go ahead and put some smoke on it. So outside I went to my smoker. I set the temperature at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, threw the brisket in there and closed it up. Because after about 3 hours, this is what it looks like. It produced a beautiful golden color. We're also starting to get a little bit of bark in the edges. However, that bark will produce an incredible flavor. Talking about that, the next thing to do is to go ahead and finish the cook. So I went ahead and threw in an incredible amount of birria marinade. Now this marinade is fantastic and it is easy to make. The most important ingredient is this, guajillo dried chilies. Now I like to go ahead and remove the seeds. I feel like in the end, it just gives you a better result. Another chili I like to use is this one right here, Pasilla. It just produces an awesome flavor. Again, it is optional to remove the seeds, but if you have time, definitely do it. And since the chilies are dried, we gotta bring it back to life. For that, we just gotta dunk it into boiling water. As soon as it comes up to boil, give it about two minutes and it's ready. To finish it up the marinade, we just gotta use our blender. So I went ahead and threw in a good amount of tomatoes, followed by white onion, all of that chili we just rehydrated, and a little bit of that water we just used as well. Then you want to add a good amount of salt, garlic powder, a tiny bit of cinnamon, brown sugar, one chicken bouillon, and to wrap it up, lime juice. Now all there's left to do is to blend everything on high because the marinade is done. And I promise you one thing, this is delicious with any meat. Just imagine having it with that incredible brisket. Because once I combined both together, into the oven it went at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about two hours. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look at this. Now the next thing to do is to go ahead and transfer it to a cutting board. And this is my first Bidia brisket. And I gotta say, she is a beauty. However, it is piping hot. So I'm gonna let it rest for about one hour. Now don't forget about the consomme sauce that was left behind. This is where all the flavor is at. It is so good that you don't even need the brisket. All you really need is a little bit of tortilla and that's it. Talking about that, after one hour, it was time to slice the brisket. And when I did, oh man, it is a waterfall of juice. Now, even though it rested for about one hour, it is still hot. And I cannot wait to find out how the slices of brisket are gonna taste, especially from the point which is the fattier part. I mean, take a look at this. It has to be delicious. Now, for the lean, I decided to do something else. I first cut everything into small slices. And as I was doing so, I said, you know what? Let's cut it in even smaller pieces. So I chopped everything up, took out my cleaver, and actually finely diced everything. Because there's one thing that birria is fantastic for, and that is tacos. There are two different ways to do it. The first one, I threw in a little bit of consomme sauce right on the bottom, then immediately put in my corn tortilla. Now, I like to use Oaxaca cheese. It is a Mexican cheese that is very similar to mozzarella. However, I feel like it's a little bit creamier. If you cannot find it, mozzarella will work just fine. Because once I added the cheese, I went ahead and put a good amount of the brisket right on top. If the taco is getting stuck, I like to use a scraper, then slowly fold everything together. To finish up this taco, I just add 
a good amount of that birria marinade right on top. Come on now, this is incredible. But let me show you a second version. To make them even crispier, I went ahead and added some bacon fat on the bottom. Then threw in my tortilla and started to fry it up. Next, throw in some Oaxaca cheese, followed by that beautiful brisket. And instead of the sauce going on the outside to make the tortilla soggy, I like to put it in the inside to make the tortilla super crunchy. So it is up to you whichever way you decide. Regardless of which way you make it, it is going to be fantastic. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to try this incredible birria brisket. So let's do it. Oh man, I cannot wait to take a bite out of this delicious birria brisket. Hmm, now that I think about it, it's kind of like how Morgan & Morgan can't wait to take a bite out of unjust insurance companies. People every single day get taken advantage of by these insurance companies who oftentimes lowball client claims. But Morgan & Morgan is willing to fight in court to get you the money you deserve. In case you don't know who they are, let me fill you in. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and over 1,000 local lawyers. So many people trust them in fact, they get 3 million calls every year to rescue people in their time of need. They are so good at what they do that they have recovered over $20 billion for their clients. Take this auto accident claim just last month. Morgan & Morgan was able to get this client $12.2 million while the insurance was only offering $350,000. And the best part is that the fee is absolutely free unless you win. Yep, that's right. If you don't win your case, you pay nothing at all. All the calls, meetings, time and effort put into your case is completely free of charge. When you're hurt, you deserve the best on your side. Your injuries can be worth millions. So you can check out America's largest personal injury law firm at the link on the description below, or you can file a claim online with a click of a button at forthepeople.com slash gogafoods. Thanks Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful little feast today. I gotta say, everybody, I had a lot more, but I have savages in the house and they just attacked everything. That's all that's left from a brisket, by the way. So this is a little experiment, a birria brisket. We all love birria. Oh. Birria brisket. That sounds interesting. That sounds very unique. And I'm looking forward to trying it. Okay, enough talking. So here's the deal. We have brisket and then we have a little birria taco, okay? So the birria taco, everybody, there's two ways to do it. If you don't put the sauce on the top, it's crispier. If you dunk it on the sauce and you cook it with the sauce, you gotta serve it right away. And we gotta get ready for the table. That's why these are like this. Enough talking, let's give it a go. You guys ready? Let's do it. Which one you guys wanna start first, brisket or this one? Brisket, brisket. That way we know what's going on. Okay, let's brisket. do it. I agree. Let's go for the brisket. You're making a mess already? The video hasn't even started yet. Boom. Roasted. I've done a lot of experiment with the briskets, but I have no idea how this one is going to taste, everybody. Let's find out right now. Enough talking. Cheers. 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 Oh. Oh, <laughs> good. Wow. 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 I've said this many, many times. Birria sauce will save any meat. Extremely tender as well. I got one word for this brisket, and uh. that is incredible. Really, really delicious brisket. Completely different than any brisket we've ever tried because there's not much of a bark. That birria sauce really like takes over the bark. So instead of having it be nice and dry, it's actually wet. So it gives a completely different mouthfeel to a normal brisket, but it's very flavorful. It makes it feel like it is more juicy. Yeah. Let's try dunking it on the sauce over here and you guys let me know. How much dunkage? A lot of dunkage? Leo, as long as you don't make the table dirty, you can dunk as much as you want, my friend. Emotional, damn it! With the sauce. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh my god. Sheesh. Sheesh. Wow! That is amazing, everybody. That is how that tastes, all right? That is incredible. <sighs> Seriously? I was going to put it in my mouth and literally a drop of the sauce just fell right on the table. I cleaned it. Okay, it's not that bad. So I kept my table clean. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. Here, Leo, I, I knew I was going to have to let you borrow that, but there you go. <laughs> By itself, it's ridiculously good. But when you dunk it in the birria sauce, it gives it even more flavor and even more oomph. And if there is any type of dryness, it no, goes away. Gone. I think the birria marinade pairs so well with the actual brisket because the savory richness of the brisket gets combated by the depth and slight sweetness of the birria. I think they pair together really well and it's just overall just a really delicious brisket. Gotta say, Leo, those were some big words. <laughs> yeah, he likes the big ones. Two things you can count on me for. That's big words and getting a table dirty. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough. I want to try the birria tacos. Can we go for it, please? And it's also... It's a little crispy, okay? Dunk it as much as you want or as little as you want, and we're going to give this a go. You ready? Oh, yeah. I'm scared for you. Um, hey, I'm trying to keep it clean. Let's give it a go right now. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. 
Oh, that's crazy. Wow. All those beautiful birria brisket flavors. You have it wrapped in a nice crunchy tortilla. There's nice gooey cheese inside. Mm. <sighs> mm. I don't know which I like more, man. This is really delicious. Mm-hmm. Not as them bowls. Mm. 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 <laughs> this is like literally the perfect like meat lovers taco. It is so delicious, everybody. Meat, cheese, and birria sauce. I really love how all of the birria, the sauce, the cheese, it's all like so closely packed. It's almost like you get a more flavorful bite when it's in this taco form. Yeah, 100% agree. Which one you like better, brisket or taco? I'm gonna go with taco. I'm gonna you. go I'm gonna go brisket and taco. They're both amazing. I'm gonna go with both, everybody. You're gonna both do both anyway. Just have some separate, and then you have the other ones right there because oh. this is delicious. Probably one of the best ways to have brisket. Highly recommend. Do it. It, you will not regret it. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye bye. Yeah, guys. And you didn't make that much of a mess. Congratulations, Leonardo. I know. Wow, just one drop? One drop. Just one drop. That's it. And that wasn't even my fault.